had, I would say, listen, you need a denture. I've got great dentures, super high aesthetics, super high quality. They're very expensive. But I can give you something that's really good and very basic and very economical. Guess what? Bing, 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 bing. He's in. So, so you, you, you kind of tailor your communication to these people. But for the majority of our clients, the 80-20 rule still applies. Yes, sir. 80 percenters are going to fall somewhere in between. And those are the people that are going to make us thrive. Those are the people that are going to pay our bills. Those are the people that keep us in business. The 80-20s. So the 80 percenters, the 3.5% like my dad, those are more trouble than they're worth. Right. Because they aggravate you. You get something that's cheap, that's economical, and then they expect it to be a Rolls Royce. And the people that demand the Rolls Royce, well, sometimes in dentistry, you and I both know you can't deliver it no matter what because of the limitations that the anatomy gives us, right? Yes, sir. And those people are a pain in, in you know where. Yeah. Just, so, so those two extremes can be very challenging. I'd rather live with the 80% in the middle. And the same thing with our educational programs. If somebody wants to come in and, and they are a Dawson alumni, as I am, I'm a master, master Dawson grad, uh, that's great. We're going to teach occlusion and we're going to mention CR and we're going to respect all the stuff that my dear friend Pete, rest his soul, taught me. Yes, sir. We're going to respect it. But if they're the believer that CR doesn't exist on the other side, then I... <laughs> I, I can't relate there. Right. It's, it's right. not my thing. Doesn't so, compute. <laughs> yeah, so, so they may find things that in the delivery of the message that I will give or my other lecturers will give may not resonate as well. So so you have to understand. But the 80 percenters that are coming in that are green, that are either young or not so young, that just didn't quite evolve in the educational world, they're like, how many people still don't draw blood? The majority. You mean to tell me something that easy to draw a little bit of blood and spin it and get a little goopy stuff that's really full of wonderful things and mix it in with whatever bone graft you want to put in, whether it's a plug or not. Yeah. And you can improve your graft 10, 20 times and people don't do it. Yeah, I mean, over here, nobody's, very few people, I, I did PRF 15 years ago, 20 years ago. I mean, nobody's doing it. I don't get it. I, I, it's like... It's mind-boggling, right? Yeah. I, I mean, listen, you and I probably started with the old PRP, right? Yeah. Harvest. That's how I started. I used to put PRP in the face to make collagen. Me too. So, And that was expensive back then. Yeah. If you remember what yeah. those kits cost, yeah. that was expensive. Yeah. So, you know, it evolved. And now when you look at it, and you say, okay, so the companies that are selling these PRF machines, you know, they want four, five, six, seven thousand dollars. Yeah, yeah. Listen, we sell for twenty seven hundred bucks. All cool. included, all the instruments, all the supplies, everything. See, I didn't even know. I didn't know. I, I got to learn all the all the all the things you you guys. Uh... Yeah, but ever. I mean, it, it's, okay. But I vetted this, and you know why okay. I vetted it because so the company that puts this together for us. Besides the fact that he's sponsored all my education courses for years and years and years, he's a wonderful person. I didn't want a dentist to spend four or five, six thousand dollars on a machine that they can get for half that. Yeah. But more importantly, I wanted the, the dentist to come to our course. Like we're, we're going to have a course December 8th and 9th. Okay. On PRF. Oh, uh, cool. The first full day, I'm going to have a certified registered nurse here. Showing them exactly how to draw blood, doing it on themselves, doing it on me, and and doing a number of the students if if they choose, just to be able to get comfortable with it, right? You see what I'm saying? Because I killed a few I killed a few people trying to draw blood until I until right. I figured out how to do it. I, nobody yes. you know. but but once somebody teaches you and holds your hand yeah. and kind of guides you, it's easy. you start to lose the layers of concern. Right. right. Then we're also going to create a, a master series with Quantum, okay. which is going to be an online 
once a month, open forum discussion so that all of our students, our dealers, our friends, they can join. And if they have a case that they want to present, they can send the information in ahead of time. And either Jack or Christy or myself are going to be able to bring that into the course. So, so they can get input, not just from us, but from the Vince Dolce's and the other people in the world that can contribute valuable information. So we're going to, and that's going to be free. Wow. Why? Because man, if you're a solo dentist and there's still a lot of them, yeah. who do you talk to? Nobody. You got no, You got your assistant, you got your hygienist, you got a friend desk. You're by yourself. Yeah. Wouldn't it be nice to have a buddy to run and bounce things off of and, and discuss things? So we want to be that. We want to be their ally so that, hey, listen, I'm going to be alone here. Right. Who do I go to? I got to go to you. I got to go to Jack. I got to go to my friends <laughs> and say, look what I stumbled on to. Help me out. So because none of us are perfect. All right. All I'm saying is that there's power in numbers. Yeah. And if we join forces, we're more powerful. And if we're more powerful, we get the word out to more people. We can help more people. We can affect a positive change in more people. And that, that's really what, what this is all about. Yeah. I mean, you're like the consumer reports for dentistry. <laughs> well, <laughs> because, yeah. That's because, probably well, trademark, but yeah. <laughs> well, well, it's you know, I never had anything like this uh, coming along. I mean, I wanted a laser, I bought a laser. I wanted Itera, I bought Itera. I mean, there was no, you know. Uh, right, but let, had, let, let's go on that that you just said. When you okay. bought a laser, how much training did you get? Uh, a little One day. To not, yeah, that's it. One day, right? Yeah. Then what? Then you're on your own. Yeah. Same thing with Itera, right? The oh, Itera. I, I threw, I threw the, two, three hours. The girl who brought me my Itera, I knew more than her, and I never used the machine. I said, get out of here. I'll, I'll figure it out. And the next day, the first day that I used Itera, I did a, a whole arch without anybody telling me anything. You know, I just did it. But, but it probably took you longer, and as you got yeah. better, it started yeah. to get faster, and you started to get more fluid. Yeah. What if we could circumvent that process? Right, right. What if we said to Dr. Average, hey, man, don't do this alone. Right. You pick up a, a phone, you call us. You send us an email, we, we're there. Yeah. You, are you close by? You want to come spend the day here? Come by. I don't care. All I'm saying is there's another thing that, that I wanted to bring up. Uh, and and I, I used to teach this course, and I did it. I taught it at NYU, and I taught it at a number of places over the years. It was eight hours long. Wow. It was you don't know what you don't know. So if I show you an x-ray, and I say, here, treat and plan it, every dentist, without exception, is going to create, oh, yeah, look, there's these teeth missing. There looks like plenty of bone. I can stick an implant in there. Okay. But there's more to it, right? I was on with a dentist, good friend of mine. He's actually registered for the course on December 8th. And he's talking about doing two implants on the lower arch for a patient. Okay. Thin ridge. I said, okay, so let's 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 go back. What are you charging? He said nine thousand bucks. Well, that's okay. a lot of money. That's a lot okay. of money. Yes, sir. I said, I'll tell you what. If they're gonna spend nine and you can educate them properly, I bet you they'll spend 12. And you can put in four properly designed today. Yeah. Load them up as a snap indenture with angled locators yeah. so that they can afford that today. But a year or two from now, when they come back to you and they say, hey, doc, you know, I want something that stays put in my mouth. Now you don't have to go back to the drawing board and put in more implants and more sur the implants are there. Right. You're just changing from locators to multi-units yeah. and you're done. But it goes back to your original treatment plan training and your or your assessment. So so we have a course that I've taught for many years and I've just recently updated it using you know some of the modern tools that we have now in, in case design. And that course is going to be able to help people understand this treatment plan. Because one of the things that I used to teach a lot when I taught for 
some big name people in the past. I won't name them here because then I got to give them props and royalties. But uh, I used to say, how do you augment a treatment plan? Okay. And you do that with communication. That's it. Yeah. Does that augmentation cost more? Sometimes, not always. But if you plan ahead, you're prepared for tomorrow. If you stick four implants in arbitrarily in that lower jaw, wherever they fit, later on when they want fixed, you may have implants in the wrong spot. Now you got to take them out. You got to reposition. You got to graft. I mean, you've got a big challenge on your hands. It's better to plan in such a way up front. And the beauty of the way we taught this and that I've taught this, the way that I've written this in my books is I want every patient that sits in front of you, once you're part of this that we're creating, to think that you're the smartest dentist that they've ever sat across. Okay. And if they do, they become your believer. Right. We go back to Coach Prime. Do you believe? Right. And I want the patients to believe in the dentists that come to us. Yeah. And more and more over time. The same way as I wanted to believe in me and the people that come to us, it's like, why? I'm not taking for a wild goose ride. Not. I'm just saying, avoid the challenges if you can. If you're going to buy an iTero, that's a great machine. Buy it. Right. Right. I mean, you want to buy three chip? Buy it. It's a great machine. But if you want to look at alternatives, right. we can provide them. You know, why would you spend $25,000 on a dental chair when all you're doing is sitting the patient? Yep. For an hour or two or three, right? Yep. How about a third of that? Yeah. You get the same end result. It looks just as pretty or prettier. And you know, in five years, they all look bad and you want to change them anyway. Yeah. It, it, it's, 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 it's business. It's, it's business. And, and once we start looking at it as that, then everything that we're doing related to quantum is, is related to helping more patients helping the practice, helping your family, helping everybody. If, if we can touch gold onto everybody that's involved, everybody wins. Not just one person, everybody. But ultimately, we're helping more people, more patients. That's oh, that's, really that, that is so cool. Uh, I, I, really, I really enjoyed this. Now I, I understand where you're going and what you're doing, and I, I'm, I'm happy to be part of it. And I, I'm going to help you guys in any way I can. I I really need this needs to get out because like they did a survey and they found out that the dentist the car that they buy the most is a Tesla because it's the most technologically advanced car and 80% don't have a scanner in their office. I mean it just like you know we might as well go back to a flip phone. Uh, that we had, you know, when we first, or that big phone that we had when we first started. Well, go now, back I, to the pegboard. Go back yeah. to the pegboard. Yeah. yeah. Do, do you know, uh, part of, part of my, my thinking is if it was in the dental school and you used it in dental school, you'd graduate and buy one. That, I, I, I think that's part of it. That, you know, that's my two cents as a dentist. Yeah. I, but how do you get it in there? Yeah. That's the problem. I know. Oh, I know. Yeah. It, 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 it costs a lot of money to get it into yep. the schools, unfortunately. Yep. And if the schools were were a little bit more invested in helping these students really thrive and succeed once they graduate, yep. they let us in there because, I mean, listen, right now with our iOS, I have an okay from the manufacturer to give students for the first six months after they graduate an incredible deal, which is below our dealer price. Okay. Okay. You see what I'm saying? But yes, the school sir. would have to get involved and we'd have to get that notoriety. And that's all they're asking for. But you know what? I've approached three different schools about it. They're not interested because I know what's in it for me. It's just I, a I, thing. I know. But um, they're teaching, they're teaching the same things though. They're, they're, they're educated. They're getting the same basic education that we got 40 years ago. I mean, it's insane. Yeah. It's insane. I, I, you know, I learned veneers on my own. Yeah, with with Larry and with a couple other guys. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> but uh, 
But you know what? If if you can, if you you going back to your Tesla, if you can, if you can buy a Tesla because you have enough charging stations and you're in a big city, I get it. But if you look at the map in Alabama, where I'm at, forget it. I think, <laughs> I think there's seven charging stations throughout the whole state. You need a longer extension cord. <laughs> yeah, so here it doesn't work. Not yet. It will. Um, I, it, it doesn't work in some of the more rural areas. Yeah. I get. It. But um, but it's a good point to have. And the dentist, I think it's all based on fear. Right. How is it going to work? How right. difficult is it going to be for me to learn it? Yep. And, and we're trying to unveil the kimono through quantum so that the dentist, before they buy it, man, come use it. That's it's so cool. Here. That's, that's just, just stick your hands on it. It's incredible. It's incredible. That, that nobody else offers that. Nobody. No. Every, everybody gives you the machine, and then maybe they'll spend a couple hours with you, and, and, and they're out. You'll figure it out because they made the yeah, sale. Yeah. 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 So, that's, so that's yeah, we what want I did. the sale. We want the sale, too. <laughs> right. We don't want the sale at the expense of losing the cl- the customer and the client. Right. right. Yeah. That, that, that's the difference. Uh, same thing with live surgeons. You know how hard it is to teach somebody to do a sinus graft, a lateral window? It's not very difficult. No. No, it is but if we do the training the way that I did it back in the day and the way that we're going to do it now, okay, they're going to see it live on the screen. And any one of the people in, in our classroom are going to be able to come in, scrub in, and assist me. Yeah. And if you want to do one, I'll do one side, and, and then I'll assist you and you do the other one with me there. You wow. talk about that's cool. one-on-one, in-your-face training. That's it doesn't cool. get better than that. No, no, no. It, we don't, they don't. They don't even come close in school, and they would have to take so many courses. It's and and spend years and 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 tens of thousands of dollars to uh, to equal that. It, it's it's not designed for that, right? You know, right. The, they they still have to teach amalgam. You know, it's it's a good question, but you know why they still have to teach amalgam? Because unless the dentist understands retention resistance form, unless they understand why it's important to design the proximal boxes and the retention grooves, unless they understand that, whatever you're going to put in to plug the hole, whether Doesn't it's matter, a hood, yeah. amalgam, or composite, <laughs> the design, the architectural engineering has to be ingrained in the soul. Right, right. So, so they right. need that. And, and they don't understand, well, I'm never going to do amalgam. I get it, dummy. It's not about amalgam. Fill it with peanut butter. I don't care. Right, right. But the design is that important that you need to understand whether you're doing an inlay. Otherwise, everything's going to fail. Yeah. So, I mean, that's my two cents. Thank very you for good. inviting me, Vince. I appreciate you very much. I appreciate I appreciate your time. And what I want to do uh, in the future is, is go over um, each product that you have do a short video on like this scanner, uh, the laser, you know, something just so they, they have a, a bit of, of information. Would that be okay? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And, and actually I'm going to take this recording. If you don't mind, I'm going to put it on our YouTube channel. Of course, of course. And uh, we can piggyback and try to help more people. And uh, I'm going to, from a side note uh, in the next uh, week or so, I think we're going to do a zoom and get, all of us together. Okay. So that you can meet everybody on the team and everybody can meet you. I would love that. I would love Cindy that. And, and all these, all these people and Christy as well. So, so we all know who we are and, and what our roles or capacities are. So, yeah. Super. Thank you, doctor. Uh, it's a, a pleasure and I'm, I'm proud to be a part of your uh, organization. Awesome. And we're thankful and proud to have you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.